Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> I've gone on this obsession of finding some of the best crowds all over the world. And then for some reason, we always end up in the Philippines, genuinely. And actually, for no bloody, there's no doubt, because look at this. Like, bro, if you're an artist and you have to tour in the Philippines, or you have to perform in the Philippines, like, you actually don't even have to worry if, like, there's any technical issues or anything. The crowd will carry you, bro. I'm actually so excited that you're checking out these videos because you haven't seen any of them. Yeah, I haven't seen any of them. By the way, the, first, the, the times that I always show it to Bali, in case you didn't know Bali's uh, injury, she's injured her back and she's slowly recovering. But the, uh, the times that I show her, she has to be laying down and resting. The times that I show her the videos... I I had saw I had seen them before. These ones I had never seen. She compiled them for me. This time the roles have changed. Said is apparently loved. This man's charged tickets to go to uh, to the concert to be sang to him. <laughs> this was recently though. This happened not long ago. <laughs> Gonna stay the night. Mento. What is this? Come on, who is this? Is it bad that I have no idea who this geezer is? Who the fuck is this guy? And why is he so famous and I don't know who he is? Hey, it's Loki Fire. His name is Lanny. Who the hell is this guy? He's on tour right now. Pro like production and shit. He's got that tick that lets you know you made it. Wow, that's fucking bizarre. That's a TikTok stream recording another TikTok. Oh, Billy, Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. That was in Seoul. Oh, they're gonna compare it, are they? Some crowds are just like listening crowds. It doesn't mean they're uninterested or anything. They just like to listen to shit rather than sing it. And culturally, you'll find this in different parts of the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she could literally stop singing and the crowd carry. Yeah, it's just difference in crowds and, and that's why traveling the world and going to different places, it's so, um, yeah, it's so amazing. However, the number one reason we like to come here is because we know how much you guys love to sing. I told you, motherfucker. You guys love to sing. And uh, as a singer, I cannot even tell you how much joy that brings. Me and the rest of the band, when we come out here to a place where I know that's y'all's thing. You guys love to fucking sing. Yep. And that just makes us feel so good out here. That, that's so cool for him to like know the culture. Like that. That's fucking dope. Because there's some places that we go, you know, people don't, they feel more shy, they don't want to sing. But yeah. I love James. <laughs> see? Say hi to these guys. Oh, I don't know. But I just want you guys to know that this is a very... I'm not at the fucking concert. I don't have to say hi to him. That was the video. It's a special place. Oh, that guy looks like Jesus. First of all, the crowd seems to be getting bigger and bigger. This is incredible. Good for him. You can never be sad at looking at another artist that's been doing it for so, as long as Maroon 5. 
and like they still sell out like that. And, you know, every time we come here, it just feels like you guys love to, to be in it with us. I mean, you guys sing louder. You sing louder than anywhere else in the world here. I'm telling you. Yeah. All right, so good. Shout out the Philippines, man. That's so cool for him to acknowledge like a crowd like that. How nice. That's actually low key emotional. I also feel like in, in the Philippines, I don't know what it is, but they, I feel like they have mics in the crowud. Maybe they have environmental mics or what? Cause in, no, the, the on-set mics that are on stage pick up, pick up so pick much up of the, the... Yeah, if you're loud enough, they pick up with the crowd on the, on the front. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking shopping most. Yeah, she's very famous in the Philippines. I mean, she's very famous everywhere and anywhere. Taylor Swift is like one of the, I think she's one of the best selling artists ever. Bro, I don't even think she's there. I think this is just like one of those malls. You know, they put music and shit. And the previous one, it was a presidential rally. They just put that song for some reason. And everyone knows it. Icon. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what it must feel like as an artist when the whole crowd just knows your songs, man. They sing it back to, they you. Sing it back to you. You don't even have to sing. That's like, again, you charge tickets for the concert to be sang to you, bro. What an absolute dream. And I, I do think like, um, especially if you have like big hits and they're pop and singable and fun, um, the, the Philippines is probably one of the best uh, locations and crowds that you could probably visit um, anywhere in the world because they, they're going to show you love in a manner that's, it's so um, clear, and as a musician, it just makes your heart warm as hell. <laughs>